New Orleans is sinking by the tragically hip. The verse starts out with the signature riff played four times in a row. Then we have this, uh, the chord moves up to an A. You can play that riff right there. So we've got the signature riff. We can play that three times in a row, and then the fourth time, before we go into we could play, uh, I'm going to give you three different ideas that you could play. Uh, so idea number one. signature riff three times and then on the fourth round you can play that and here it is in slow motion okay and the third idea would be Another way you could play that B5 to A5 is... So we have eight strums on the B5, and then five strums on the A5. One, two, three, four, five. I'm playing the mute, uh, muted strums down up, and then I'm sliding somewhere up. Um, around the 12th, 15th fret area on the 6th string. So down up with mutes, play perhaps the 12th, 15th, 17th fret, and slide down. Okay, so once again, to sum up, idea number one, going into that idea we had. How do you play that? We'll start by playing the sixth string open twice. Um, using all downward picking strokes. Right, your first finger bars across the fourth and fifth strings at the second fret. Play the fourth followed by the fifth. Then add your middle finger to the sixth string and play the fifth string, second fret, followed by the fourth and third strings open. As far as this riff goes,
close this A rep, your first finger bars across the fourth and third strings of the second fret. And then you'll play the fifth string open with some muting. Right hand palm muting, and then back to the fourth and third strings. So and that rhythm is one and two. Then you can play the fourth and third strings open and quickly hammer on to the second fret, fourth and third strings with your first finger. And then play the open fourth and third strings, then move your first finger up to the third and fourth strings at the fifth fret. Okay, and then idea number two. We're going to play five notes. One, two, three. Just like in idea number one. Idea number one, we play. But this time we're going to stop at the sixth string, third fret. One, two, and then you'll play muted strums down, up, and then sliding down the sixth string. You can press down around the 15th fret. And that takes you into. Okay, and then idea number three, four notes. And then you can play the sixth string. Play it on beat three and slide down for beats three and four. Okay, so there are three different ways to get you into this riff in the verse. Idea number one. and then just play whatever uh, you feel like playing in the moment, okay? Um, now, once you finish playing, that A riff twice, you'll play the... You'll play the E riff twice, and then you have B... twice after the A ref. Here's the A ref. You could play uh, idea number one before the, the, uh, the idea that came before the A ref. Before the B5, you could play idea number one. Signature riff, or you could play this idea number one. Okay, so there are some ideas to help you uh, transition between uh, the riffs during the verse.